name is Alex Söterman and this is my horse Triton. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about him because uh, he's been uh, more tired than usual. Already uh, a few minutes into the training session, he's starting to breathe heavily and sweaty. And um, it has been like this for a month now. And after two weeks, uh, I made a blood test to see uh, how the blood sample was and everything was fine. So uh, my question is now, because he's not getting better, what should I do? After the clinical examination of heart and lung auscultation, pulse, mucous membrane, digital pulse of the limbs, muscles and lymph nodes, the horse presented an irregularly irregular arrhythmia and tachycardia. The horse is showing the following problems, exercise intolerance, loss of performance, irregularly irregular arrhythmia, and tachycardia. The differential diagnoses are atrial fibrillation, second degree atrioventricular block, sinus arrhythmia, premature atrial complex, and premature ventricular complex. The following complementary tests are included in the diagnosis. An electrocardiogram to assess the electrical activity of the heart. This case is showing a normal QRS morphology with irregularly irregular RR intervals, F waves, and absence of P waves. In addition, hematology, biochemical, and electrolyte analysis are done to evaluate if the heart disease has systemic affections. In this case, all of these tests result normal. An ultrasound of the heart to detect possible structural alterations such as valve regurgitation or chamber dilatation. In this case, no significant abnormalities are detected. A Holter electrocardiogram during 24 hours to assess if the arrhythmia detected is not paroxysmal. In this case, the Holter ECG is confirming the arrhythmia detected earlier. In this case, a primary idiopathic atrial fibrillation or lone atrial fibrillation was diagnosed. In an atrial fibrillation, the electric activity in the atria are not coordinated, ending in a frequent and random stimulation of the atrioventricular node, which can be seen in the ECG of this horse. What's the treatment and the prognosis of my horse? There are two types of treatment options of atrial fibrillation, medical or transvenous electric cardioversion. The main therapeutic goal is by medical or electrical conversion, convert the atrial fibrillation into its normal sinus rhythm. The first option is kinidin sulfate via nasogastric tube, administered continuously, monitoring the response of the heart. General side effects can occur such as tachycardia, depression, anorexia, colic, diarrhea, laminitis, hypertension, and collapse. If these signs occur, the treatment with kinidin should be terminated and the horse needs to be treated symptomatically. The other option is transvenous electric cardioversion. This requires general anesthesia, specialized equipment and expertise. The electrodes are placed through the jugular vein and guide into the right atrium and left pulmonary artery. It's very important to avoid the conversion during a T-wave. If so, it can cause ventricular fibrillation which can lead to death. General side effects from this treatment are risks associated with the general anesthesia such as bradycardia and hypotension. This treatment option is more invasive, expensive and requires a hospital specialized in this treatment option. Taking everything into consideration and discussion with the owner, we chose to apply the medical treatment with quinidine sulfate. Here we can see the conversion with quinidine sulfate before and after successful treatment. The prognosis in our case with a lone atrial fibrillation is good if a normal sinus rhythm can be restored. The horse can return to previous performance level and the recurrence rate is approximate 15 to 20 percent. General consideration. There is no prevention for atrial fibrillation and for successfully converted horses the owner should be trained how to palpate the apex speed or to ascutate the heart with a stethoscope. Heart rate can be monitored with commercial heart rate monitors. Any change in exercise tolerance should be taken seriously and sent to re-evaluation of an veterinarian immediately.